All right, guys, what's going on? Titan Lifestyle Friday with Big Drew. What's up, guys and girls? Titan Lifestyle Friday back at it once again. It's good to have my brother Absolutely. from another mother back in the studio. It's always good, Good baby. to be here. Always good. And it's always good because the sun is back out. It's not freezing cold. Thank God, it. right? Yeah, I was the for one reason. <laughs> yeah, I moved to Florida, not, not Seattle, so. Right. Yeah. All right, so I right, appreciate all you guys joining in. I know you guys are good about to join in. We got a great show for you guys, as always. And, uh, you know, we always like to start off the show with the Therapy of the Week. So for the Therapy of the Week, this week, obviously, we're doing a special. Because of Valentine's Day, it's Monday. Oh, yeah. Still enough time for you guys to get your orders in if you guys want them. But we're doing 25% off all bedroom enhancing therapies. We want to make sure that you're going to be good to go downstairs. And then after the first round, if it's going two or three, you guys are going to have more energy and stamina to be able to, you know, go along with the activities. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and again, too, like I said, past weeks and past shows before, you guys can kill two birds with one stone. If you take one of these and it's in your system, the next day, if you go to the gym, you're going to have a pump that's going to be ridiculous. What's going on? So it actually on? opens up all your, it dilates all your blood vessels. Even if you don't want to get them for Valentine's Day, you can stock up for later on down the line and better, be ready to go. Be safe than sorry. Absolutely. Literally. So, uh, yeah. Keep and, them on your nightstand and be ready to go all the time, guys. And majority of the people, when they think about libido enhancers or bedroom enhancing therapies, they think they're just for guys, right? But we have female ones that are FDA approved too as well. So at that point... Listen, girls like sex just as law as, you know, I, I think they just want it just as much as, as yeah. guys do. But they'll never admit it, though. They'll never yeah. admit it, or they might not be in the mood, and that could be a hormone issue that's off or something like that, where you want to have the sex drive, or you're used to, and, like, it's all gone afterwards. You know, yeah, I, get, a lot of, a lot, I don't mean to no, cut no, you off, no, but a lot, a lot of women, they, they lose their sex drive. So a lot of women won't climax. They won't, you know, have an orgasm during yeah. sex. A lot of women just, you know, or they fake it or whatever. This is true. So a lot of times they just go along with the flow because they know you want it, because you're your partner or whatever the case may be. But, you know, be able to have your libido increase is mm -hmm. obviously going to increase your orgasm because it all goes hand in hand. Absolutely. As opposed to just being able to perform and do it, now you could actually enjoy it. Absolutely. And, like, feel it in your mind and feel, quote, unquote, horny and stuff. Yeah. So a lot of people, there that horniness goes away after a certain point or they're dealing with supplementation. Yep. Sometimes it takes it away. Yep. You guys aren't getting your blood work done, just taking stuff off the street. You wonder why all of a sudden one day your sex drive's gone. It's probably because there's an error there. So yeah. come to Titan, <laughs> get your blood work done. You'll never have to, quote unquote, strike out ever again. You never have to strike out. And then, you know, I mean, females are dealing with this too as well. And it's exactly the thing what a male's going through. You might be declining or deficient in some hormones. Mm. And that's why you might be missing the sex drive or the energy or whatever it may be that you're, you're going through and some of these symptoms and stuff like that. And like, you know, I get a lot of questions from a lot of, a lot of girls too as well, even about their guys. I had a girl, you know, write me in and she's like hey listen i just want to ask a question to see if my boyfriend's lying to me um you know he's taking testosterone and decanandrolone and he said it's affecting his erections and right. he wanted to come to you guys for libido enhancers and i was like i don't know about all this so i want to write you know so yeah it could definitely happen if you're taking it depending on where he's taking it from what he's doing and all that too mm -hmm. i mean so yes i mean the problems are out there for a lot of people and uh, they might not want to talk about it because they might feel you know insecure about it or whatever right, it may right. be or they don't want to admit they have maybe an issue and females are the exact same thing um, for females out there a lot of females cannot achieve orgasms um, there there might be dry vaginal dryness downstairs there's a lot of different problems out there so you know guys need it girls need it we both need it yeah. and it's a part of having a great quality of life and optimal health for sure healthy lifestyle I definitely want to do that Punisher thank you I appreciate the badges dude thank you man Tommy Rod in the house. What's going on, man? So, Asuf, 14. See you guys in two weeks. We'll see you, Pat, in two weeks. Oh, yeah. nice. For sure. He's, he always comes down. I love it. I love it. So, we'll see all this. I think we're going to the Hard Rock. What's up, man? Hard Rock. Oh, wow. That's crazy. So, if you guys come down. All right. So, let's talk about the next topic on hand. Florida school bus drivers arrested for drunk driving drunk with 40 kids on board. Yeah, this really, like, I mean, it messed me up. I mean... The fact that you have base, like, we don't really look at bus drivers how much responsibility they have. Oh. I mean, when you're carrying literally 40, 50 lives on board of kids that, you yeah. know, they don't know how to drive, they don't, you know. Yeah. So you're basically babysitting those kids. Bad enough to have to deal with that, but this idiot was drunk, driving the kids around, 40 kids around, uh, and apparently a couple weeks before he had another incident where he was drunk driving the kids around. So wow. I'm interested to know why is he still driving these kids That's after scary. he already had an issue. Um, and it was 
Um, basically, the, the the school administrators and people saw that he was drunk, so they put in the call, mm-hmm. and the police basically pulled him over. <sighs> so they basically someone complained, this guy's drunk, he's driving the kids. So they wow. found the school bus, the police pulled him over, and then when the guy went to walk off the bus, he... He, he fell faked, over? He faked, yeah, he fell on the ground and pretended like he couldn't breathe. Oh! As he was walking out, as he as he was walking out of the bus door, he just walked out and like fell and was like, <gasps> pretending like he can't be, you know try to play it off. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. reason. So it was just, I mean, get this guy out of the door. I don't think he should ever drive kids ever again. Yeah, this is obviously crazy. if he had an issue a few weeks back, he should have been terminated at that point. He should have yeah. lost his, uh, I don't know what the license is, but he should have lost his yeah. license or job to be able to transport anybody. Yeah, I, let think, alone it's a, just I kids. think it's a CDL. You need to drive um, uh, school buses. But I mean, the simple fact that this guy is, I think he was like a 60 year old guy. So it's probably like, you know, he may be retired. From four times the legal limit. Yeah, four times the legal. So he was, tech, he was drunk, wow. like literally he drunk. Was drunk. Yeah. yeah. And he got charged with resisting arrest. Yeah, he tried to run and all that stuff. So wow. That was crazy. No, he yeah. 39 additional child neglect charges. Dude, this guy's going to be facing some time for sure. Yeah. I mean, this is some serious, serious stuff. You know, and on that, it's like I feel bad for the schools out there because, like, I see, like, you know, where my son goes to school right now is public school, and mm-hmm. they've got signs and they've had signs up the whole time. They're trying to still hire bus drivers. Yeah. They're still trying to hire school staff. Um, not everybody's came back to work and stuff like that, even here in Florida, because this is where it happened here in Florida. Um, and it's just crazy, man. And so. The- the thing that sucks too is that now, what's up, Dwayne? Dad, just say you say what's up. Um, yeah, man, and big Dwayne. The thing that sucks now is that um now because school, like a lot of kids aren't even going to school. Anymore. Yeah, the whole you know, without well, the whole I mean, COVID happened, yeah, COVID and everything going on. It's like a lot of kids homeschool or a lot of kids seniors in high school don't get the scholarships because they didn't get to play this year. Yep. So they're missing out on college because of it. Yeah. So the school thing, now it's like. Not a lot of people are going to school, so teachers are getting fired. They're not getting paid as much. When it should be the opposite, they should be right. getting paid more. Absolutely. So it's almost like making it worse and worse and worse. Where I feel like teachers, law enforcement, they should get a lot more than what they get. Yeah. So now it's like, I mean, you get what you pay for. Basically, yeah. you know, when you go to when you go to Walmart, or you go to McDonald's or these places that will literally just hire anybody. Some of these people have no people skills. All they could do is fill out the application and they get the job. They're just trying to get warm bodies in there. Yeah, so it's one thing if you're a greeter at Walmart. All you got to do is say, hi, hello. You could be a little off, you know, so to speak. Yeah, you could be a little, you know, just friendly. But to be transporting around 40 kids on a bus every day and you're drinking, that's too much. They need to screen more. Yeah. They need to do what? They have to do blood alcohol or whatever. I mean, honestly, what they... Blow blow when you get in the bus to make sure if you have to. I mean, they should definitely. Why not just put that in every bus where the bus won't even start unless the driver blows and then now we can go? So it's it's funny that you say that because uh, there's actually a, a federal bill in place that are is for car manufacturers. Mm. And I believe it's 2026 is when they have to start, mm. but they all have to start putting these in cars automatically. Breathalyzer machines. Good. So they're Good. they're gonna they're gonna hopefully cut down on drunk drivers and stuff like that. Make it so the car won't even start. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then they're probably gonna have you know people that could you know I know a guy that could take the thing out where you don't need, you know it's gonna it's, be one of them things. It's but. crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> If Spears, what's going on? Alba John, what's going on? Henny Boys, Shark Boy, what's going Brad on? Shark, Wilford, to follow me. Appreciate it. Lady Hawk, what's going on out there? So, guys, if you have any questions about what Type Medical Center does, and we'll talk about Chuck's thing right here in a second. But, guys, anything that we do, we do nationwide, except for Ohio and Idaho. Ohio's coming very soon, though. We got that license in, in play, and it's going to be back here for you guys. But anything from hormone replacement therapy for males and females, mm. medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, blood work, all nationwide hormones, food allergy sensitivity testing, COVID testing, antibody testing, all that through blood work, peptide therapy, healing peptides, sexual peptides, weight loss peptides. If you're in the area, stop on by, get a great IV custom bag for yourself. And like I said, nationwide series, except for Ohio and Idaho at this point. But Ohio, you guys are coming soon. So you guys get ready. Want to give a shout out to Chuck Rising on here. He said he drove a school bus for 18 years and quit this past April. Wow. He started driving his own full time. Yep. He actually gave me a ride home uh, a few weeks back. I actually remember the conversation. We really? Had. Yeah, I told him about Titan. He said he'd hook, hook him up for a couple of years and now oh, he's happy. Man. He said he joined with us and he could tell you some stories about school. Oh, buses. I'm sure, so, dude. It's good that you're uh, you're on. First of all, it's good that you're on here. Yeah. I appreciate the support. Yeah. I appreciate you coming to Titan. Yeah, Chuck, and, uh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, he's only paying $15, $15 an hour to these drivers. Yeah. That's why they can't keep the drivers. You know, they, they got to pay a little bit more. I, I, listen, I understand, you know, 
and that's minimum wage now, fifteen bucks in Florida. So no, you know, I don't think it is. It's going to be. I think it's going to be like. No, but no, I don't think it's. Until it's already like, passed. A hundred percent. They had. But, it, but it's not in effect. Well, no. It, they, they gave the employers three years, and this passed, like, I think a year or two ago. Mm. So it's coming, like, this next year mm. where everybody's going to have to be up to $15 an hour. So that will be minimum wage. So uh, they might as well start, right? I because know right now it's, like, eight something. It's eight right now. So it's, it's literally right? going to double. Uh, yeah, it's going to double. But all they're going to do is, like, they've been doing is double the price of living, double everything well, else, and then so the people can that's, save. That's the, other, that's the other thing, right? <laughs> so you've raised minimum wage to 15 bucks, which is fine. And a lot of employers were not good with that before because that's going to hurt you know, the bottom line for these, you know, these employers, but you know, with inflation and everything going on, I mean, that money's cut down even more now. So, I mean, I understand it for sure. It's uh, hopefully we'll get over it real quick, but I understand the the frustrations with that. You know, it is what it is, man. Uh, so Chuck, good for you, man. I'm glad. I also just bought a food chiller, John. I talked to your wife about advertising. Oh, that's awesome. Hell yeah, let's do it. Yeah, man, maybe we could do something <laughs> like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That's a, that's awesome to, to, to go and expand out like that. Uh, do you know what's going on? BK, Jamie, GI. Um, so Hawkspot said, any therapy suggestions for bursitis? Okay. So with that, I mean, I would probably go back to my healing peptides. Um, you know, BPC, TB500. You want to try to, you know, cut down inflammation. Um, that could be done with glutathione or stuff like that. You know, there's nothing directly I can say that's going to... CJC. CJC might, it might definitely help some different things. But I mean, your healing peptides are probably be your best bet with that Hulk Squad, and you've already went through it with the leg, so yeah. hopefully this can help with with that too as well. Um, all right, so male enhancement pills sold nationwide on Amazon is recalled. <laughs> it's funny how these things pop up, right? So I was reading this article because I'm like, wow, male enhancement. Like you see a ton of these over the counter male enhancement things. And usually none of them work as good as the real thing, right? Like real sildenafil or Tadalafil, real Viagra or Cialis, main ingredient chemicals. Um, or PT-141, something like that, right? But this is funny because the, you know, the Food and Drug Administration actually sent the recalls to five different companies that were selling on Amazon. Small little companies. Now here's where it gets a little murky. What they did was is they were putting Tadalafil, they were sprinkling it in with the product. Which, which is Cialis, guys. Which you is guys Cialis. Know, yeah. So they're giving a prescribed drug and they're putting it into the general population as over the counter, which is highly illegal. Okay. Yeah. Blackstone Labs, this I is what I was just about to say that's this something is what that, they uh, did. Something okay. That Blackstone and Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, you know, all yeah. Similar issues. So at that point, like, you know, with this, these guys are probably going to get in some trouble that, that did this, you know, from the FDA. Um, obviously, getting everything pulled. And then, you know, for people that don't know what they're taking, um, and some people might have a bad reaction to Tadalafil or Sildenafil, maybe a medical issue or something like that. Usually it's pretty safe, but it's not safe to be doing like this in the general public without them knowing and to put it out there like this is an over-the-counter product. So you got to really watch out what you're taking. Just because it's sold over-the-counter or through Amazon or even Walmart, right? You go to walmart.com and you look through their site and you think, all oh, this is coming from Walmart. Mm. But no, they have third-party sellers that are listed on their website that you can buy from too as well. Yeah. You know, so you got to watch out what you're getting, what's in it. And even with this, if you looked at the back of the label, it doesn't say this is a sprinkle with it's a Yeah, I mean. <laughs> right? They got all this like horny goat weed, like all this other garbage that's in there. You're like, oh, whatever. You know, this is, I'll try yeah. it, you know. But this is what it is. So you got to make my, sure. My thing is this. Now that this is out, that it does have to dollar fill it. Yeah. I wonder if people are going to want it more now. Well, they're going to want it, but I got it all pulled. Yeah, they pulled it. They pulled it. So if everybody has like a back order or a back, people are going to be like, oh, wait, yeah. it has a in it? has that with Salas in it? Yeah, they'll probably try to buy as much as possible because you can get it over the counter. She might as well just come to tight and get the real stuff. Yeah. I mean, they were selling this at Walmart, too. This is crazy. Walmart? Yeah, look at Currently unavailable on Amazon and out of stock at Walmart. It was on eBay, too, on Tuesday. I so wonder if it's available anywhere. Like, if we Google search right now, shopping, it. if we could find it anywhere. Dude, it would, the red, red pill, is that what it's called? Yeah, when, yeah, when the called FDA Mad starts Daddy cracking down on you like this, or they, they send out those letters, you better stop, cease, and assist, because you know what? They just keep building the case on your ass. So if you ever know they're coming after you, you better just, you know what, relax for a little bit, maybe go take a vacation somewhere, and hopefully that they won't fall through with busting your ass. Yeah, I'm Because gonna have to. it's going to be serious when it comes down. I am Mac, Mac, and it's called Mac Daddy too. So yeah, there's a Mac like, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like I mean, yeah, dude, the producers of this, cheap, like it yeah. sounds like animal. You know, because some of these supplements that are made, right? Oh, and 
Eighty-nine dollars for yeah. ten pills. Wow. What is that? My wow. Stellar lifestyle. That's probably their third-party website they're selling it on. <laughs> Yeah, the crazy for sure. thing. The crazy thing is, is I mean, for that price, why not just you know? Yeah, you might as well get the real thing. Know what you you're might as well get the real thing. You might as well come to tell sure. you get your blood work done. We can monitor it. You can have only what yeah. ingredient you need in there. Yep. Only ten. Yep. Ten pills. So basically nine dollars a pill. You yep. might as well just come. I mean. Yeah. For three more dollars, you're gonna get the real thing. You're gonna have a lot thing. higher yeah. dose for sure. Not just sprinkled in with a little bit yeah, of. Yeah. You don't even know how much is in there. Exactly. So it could be two milligrams. It could be twenty. You don't know. <laughs> just enough, right? Just enough. And all this natural. St- yeah. This makes me think that a lot of these gas stations and Seven Eleven. Oh, that for sell sure. Stuff, they probably have their own. Uh, for Vagra sure. Or Proprietary Cialis. blend. Proprietary blends. Yep. Yep, that's what it is, too. I don't too, care how much tributes you take that yeah, one. Yeah, right. Sure be at all. I've done experiments where I've taken literally thousands of milligrams of tribulus yep. and felt nothing yep. but using the bathroom. I think the best just thing the, you're going to find in that nothing. that ingredient list is probably the arginine. Yep. And I would, in, yep. I would do a lot more just than 100 milligrams for sure, yeah. you know, for facial dilation, but that's it. Yeah. Uh, all right, so Crazy. what's going on? Dominic said, yeah, don't cut corners. When it comes to health, Titans only for me. Perfect. Appreciate that, Dominic. Thank you. Vito, what's going on? Uh, Hulk Squad, you're always welcome, man. T- Truck 150, Micah L 8674. Hold not long in the house. What's up, bro? Oh, My man, what's going on, dude? All right, so watch out for what you guys are buying online. All right, the next one. CDC's rolling out 10 million COVID-19 vaccine doses for younger children. This I don't like this at all. And Hell thing, no. And the thing I don't like about this, it's almost like, you know, with the whole... Um, with the whole vaccine thing, it's like, you know, a lot of people, they don't believe in it. A lot, uh, as the years and weeks move on, people right. are like, at first it was like, oh, I need to get vaccinated. Now right. people are like, no, something's off. Right. So now they're like, okay, since we can't make the adults take it, now we're going to start pushing on kids. Yeah. So I guarantee you in schools now, first, second, third grade, they're talking about makes you, health class, they're probably talking about makes you get it. Mm-hmm. And not only this. When I read this article, they're doing kids five years old. Oh no, for sure. So I could, I thought when I first thought about it, I was like, okay, maybe like you know, dude, middle school, high school. No, these are like literally no. toddlers yes. that are going to be getting this. Yes. So it's like, mm, I don't know. It's not good at it's all because you're good, dealing dude. with a child that's not fully developed, hasn't gone through puberty, hasn't gone through everything. Yep. And who knows what's going to happen with these vaccines in ten years from now for the people that had it a year or two. Yeah. Ago. So they're they're going to try to start doing this with six month and up. Six right? months. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. So that's what I was reading about this last week where they're trying to go for FDA approval for this for six months and up. I'm like, holy cow, guys. So basically, what are we basically talking about right yeah, now? Yeah, basically, it's going to be like, you know, typical, you know, when you go to the, when you have a baby and you go back for your checkups and the baby gets his shots. Yeah. Now it's just going to be, this is going to be part of it. This is, this is nuts. Like a lot of newborn babies, when they come back from the hospital with a few weeks later, they'll get shots and the leg is put in the baby's leg and the leg, you know, the baby is sore or whatever. Yeah. Now it's like, boom, they yeah. go your. Yeah, I mean, and we don't know how this is going to possibly compromise the immune function of them for the future. We don't know. And, fi- and Pfizer, I don't know. You know, I just, I it's Pfizer. just, it's just a big, you know, I, listen, I'm not against vaccinations. I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I don't think Drew is either. At that point, you know, people should be able to make the decisions for themselves of what they want to do. And, uh, you know, this is just, its it's been a crazy ploy to a certain extent. Tuesday, I was talking about one of these things. In Atlanta, what they're doing is, is they're offering 100 bucks to kids to get vaccinated. That's what I'm saying. Like so, they, like, what they, kid doesn't want, would turn out hard about, oh, you, uh, yeah. I, I don't care, I'll jump through yeah, hoops, whatever yeah, you want me to do, right? Yeah, yeah, right? You know, so, you know, it's And not it's only scary. that, I could also see, just because um, from growing up and, you know, pretty crazily, yeah. I could also see where mothers... Whether it's a single mother or joint from whatever, she's like, okay, I need money. We have no money in the house. I have four kids. Yeah, guys, go get your vaccine and bring me the money, just yeah. so I can make the you know four hundred dollars. Honestly, man, you know, so maybe if I was like, in that situation, I might do it just for the money too. I, yeah. I mean, if I needed yeah, it, if like, need, if, if you need my it, baby needs diapers, I need food on the table. Yeah, like, because I'm they're trying to do it. Probably. Yeah, because they're trying to like force it into like the lower lower income yeah. neighborhoods. They're trying to force it. You know, like I spoke last week with Medicare. Now you can get free free vaccine yeah. as long as you're with Medicare. Yep, yep, so yep. pretty much everybody who's low income government assistance is going to get medic going to get the vaccine. Oh yeah. And those are the people that are like, trying to weed out. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like now it didn't work with the adults and so now we're going to start pushing on the kids. Right. I mean, uh, it's crazy guys. It's I want to know what the on. hell is in these vaccines and why is it because yeah. people are getting double vaccinated, they're still getting sick, they're getting boosters, they're still getting sick, they're not getting they're getting the t- I they're mean, transmitting it still. 
I mean, there's, yeah, it's there's, not like, you know, it's like if you're a kid, you get sick, and until you get antibiotics, you have you can't go back to school. Once you yeah. get the antibiotics, now you go back to school, so you don't get other kids sick. Yep. Now it's like, it doesn't matter if you've been vaccinated twice, if you had the booster shot twice, <sighs> if you've done all this stuff, you could still get sick. I could take the test and be negative. John could take the yep. test and be positive. Yep. It's true. But we could both have the same exact symptoms. Yeah. <laughs> and we could both be sitting right next to each other, but one of ours could be positive, one negative. It's the same symptoms. So it's kind of like guys, flu season disappeared in 2020. For real. For real. <laughs> and, you know, and the other thing was about it was um, now the rapid tests are out, right? Before it was like a PCR that was a gold standard. You know, you get the swab your nose, you got to send it off to the lab. And now everybody's doing rapids, the antigen testing, okay? Um, and there's some big companies out there like Abbott and um, like Ready to Go, which is a Roman product. And those are the, probably the biggest sellers out there that I've seen. So obviously when these things came out, I bought, bought a whole bunch of them, right? Because, you know, I need them for the office, for people here, friends possibly, myself. I had to travel. I want to make sure I was good to go. Mm. So it was funny because I, I've seen on these tests, I'm like, man, this is crazy. Like, I want to see how these tests are. So I just put the dilutant, no swab, nothing on some of these tests. And they came up positive. Yeah, you put water on. I was like, "What the hell? Why would this come?" I mean, there's no swab, no, no, nothing. It's just diluting, and it's going to turn positive. I understand that some have some false positives, yeah. right, or maybe some false negatives. But I mean, technically, that could put you out of work. That could set you back. That Dude, could, even if you have no symptoms, and once you see that positive, like, okay, I can't go to work, I can't travel, I can't do this, you I can't. can't do that. You're scared. You're like, man, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm positive, like, right? And then you might not have an abundance of tests. Like before, like it was hard just to get one. So if you got the one, you're like, oh shit, this is all I got. Like, well, this is positive. I must be positive. And yeah. you can't recheck chest, recheck with another one. It's, yeah. it was crazy. Now it's a little bit different where they're coming out a lot more. So, we'll we'll see how it goes. So hopefully this whole thing, as you noticed, election year is coming up. This midterms, right? Mm -hmm. And now all these big cities are starting to take back mask mandates off the general public, but not off schools yet. Yeah, it's just what is it's just really weird, guys. How things are going. Shout out to Holden. Oh, Holden said he met with his son's doctor. He said I was a straight G and told him, "Nope, no yeah. shots for my son." Yeah, yeah. That's what you got to do, guys. Don't get convinced just because someone has a lab coat no. and they're trying to tell you what to do and you no. go to the hospital. Like, definitely do, not. Do what you think is best. Yeah, don't it, just take don't just take one person's advice either. You know. I agree. You know, and especially if it's your kid, right? You know, you're gonna make decisions on your kid's health. You're gonna make decisions on your health and what you want to do. And if it's a good decision or bad decision, you're going to have to live with it. But at least you made that decision, right? Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, because these kids can't make their own decisions. No, hell no. <laughs> hell no. And they might be talked into it for, or propaganda or whatever it may be. Yeah. You know, somebody influenced it from an outside source. And then at that point, you're like, no, you're not doing it. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, Jim Nash, Tricky Lopez, what's up? Power Belly, what's going on? Oh, my guys. Power Belly, I like awesome. the name. Dude, he's awesome. <laughs> Power so, Belly. I was gonna wait till the end, but he's in the 60 Day Titan Transformation Challenge with like nice. Big Irishman and a couple other guys, and he's one of the guys that you know because I make them post their pictures. Yeah. So I put it on there. You know, dude, you guys are all doing a hell of a job, man. You guys are motivating people that you guys wouldn't even think you guys are. You guys are motivating me, man. This is awesome because it's easy to see one of us doing it because that's what we do. Like it's a general routine for us, right? Yeah. But when you see people that are really getting outside their comfort zone and really putting a lot of this effort in 100%, that, that's what it's all about, man. I'm really, uh, really happy with you guys. So Matt or Matt Hill, right? He just stopped in from Philly earlier and uh, I gave him a shirt and a hat. This is so cool. So this guy was literally here probably about, what, an hour ago? Hour and a half ago, I was literally sitting in an interview. I'm in there. I see him walk into the you know the lobby or whatever. Nobody was out there because one of the girls was in the bathroom, and I walked out there. Hey, you know, he's like, hey, I'm a patient. I just came into town to see this concert, yeah. and I'm, I was leave, leaving to go back, and I seen Titan. I was like, I got to stop in. Oh shit! So I'm like, dude, from nice. Philadelphia, dude, yeah. big shout out, man. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Really, really cool. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, sure. if you guys are patients and in town, I mean, very cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. please stop by. Yeah. If you guys see the building, dude, I'll always give you guys gifts or whatever it is, man. You know, some shirts, hats, whatever. Just because you say I stop by. And I'd love to get pictures with you guys, man, because a lot of you guys don't get to come see the facility or see where we're at. You know, you guys see us online and all this good stuff. But I, I love seeing people in person. So that, that was a that was a big, big, cool thing for Friday. Yeah, yeah it was good seeing Matt Wolf, Matthew Wolf. That's always a, a good one. Back. I mean, yeah. He's been diehard watcher diehard patient yeah. so it was good to see him and actually that's the first time i actually got to see him it's good to, yeah it's like what you say you always see him but you know, yeah it's good to see him and when they tell you that they've changed their life yeah uh, like that's priceless guys when you can do that for somebody it's it's crazy 
Um, all right, so the next one. Major League Baseball stops testing its players for steroids after nearly 20 years. So this is crazy, right? Barry Bonds. Dude, Roger Clemens. Like, Mark McGuire. Dude, I'm talking about A-Rod, right? Yeah. Rafael Palmeiro, like Jose all these guys. Canseco. Dude, I mean, j we just had the Hall of Fame induction, and Barry Bonds, mm -hmm. Roger Clemens, mm -hmm. dude, there's no reason these guys shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame, all right? Yeah. It is what it is. Sammy Sosa, all these guys. You know, of course, these guys were probably juicing. All right, well, that's fine. But a majority of them were doing this. All right, It wasn't just one or two guys. And you might get a little bit stronger. It might help a little bit. But to hit a baseball. Yeah, your reaction time dude, and all that. I mean, I the mean, only thing is maybe a little bit of power. You got some power for sure. But it's not going to help. Like, if you take testosterone, it's not going to help with your, like, mental Dude, like your, your I could go get Mr. Olympia a bat, and I guarantee he's not going to be able to knock it out of the park like not Barry Bonds or Mark McGuire or any of these guys did. But it's interesting, though, because a lot of those guys did put on a lot of weight. Like, if you look For at Sosa sure. Sosa in the beginning, if you oh, look yeah. at uh, Manny, Manny uh, Ramirez. Even if you look at Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds. He was lean as hell. Mark home. McGuire. Like, well, these guys were, like, average-looking baseball players. Yeah. They look like football players playing baseball. Yeah, yeah. They definitely Monster put on some size. Monster forearms and all that. But well, the whole Andro was thing. Yeah, thing Andrew. Was yeah, Andrew Crean. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's just it's nuts how this is going on because they do need home runs for ratings. That's a good one, Bank I about. like it. For real. I mean, listen. They're going to do it. Now, when this came into play, right, they, they put this ban on steroids, and they were going to start testing. So this was going to stop here because right now they're in negotiations with the union. So at this point, like, they're, they're redoing contracts and stuff like that. And when that happened, um, that's when this bill basically ceased. So before this, like, during this time when they were testing, there was definitely a lot of players out there probably still doing – banned substances of some sort and then trying to see how they can get around it and how they could do these different things because there are ways to get around these things i don't care who you are and if they're testing there's ways to get around testing mm -hmm. but now with this gone at least until the contract re-ups people can do whatever the hell they want to do so you, i bet uh, baseball players woke up the next day and they're like all right let me get my program going i gotta get my regimen on let me get yeah, as, as much they, as soon as they got the email like yeah you could take whatever now. They were like, they immediately called their doctor and called. <laughs> I like, mean, you know. Cause the, thing, the thing is, too, is like when people that aren't familiar with steroids and anabolics and this stuff, there's so many different types of steroids. Yes. So when you guys hear this, it doesn't mean that these guys are automatically going to get crazy and get unhealthy and this and that. No. They can have everything monitored. They can get their blood work done. Absolutely. They can make sure they test stuff. And make sure everything's regulated. So Absolutely. it's safe. There's safe ways to do it. Yeah. So it isn't like this is a situation where you're going to see guys just in the locker room just popping pills, doing injections, yeah. looking all crazy, damaging their body. Yeah. These people have enough money to be able to have a doctor, yeah. be able to have a prescription, yeah. be able to check it out, be regulated. Yep. Yeah. So it's not like all these baseball players are going to be unhealthy. Yeah. They will get bigger. It will be more entertaining. Yeah. But I really don't see these baseball players doing like hardcore drugs like Trenbolone and all. No. They don't need that, you know. No. Maybe a little testosterone is really all you really need. So, and the, like a lot of players, when the when the the testing thing was in place this last twenty years, you know, listen, I know a lot of baseball players, um, and you know, I'm not saying the baseball players I know have done this, but I know what they've told me, and basically, you know, guys microdosed, you yeah. know, because at that point they only jumped it up a little bit to like let's say seven hundred. But it was better than the 400 they were at, right, yeah. originally. And it's given them a little bit more energy and, and more power, possibly, and maybe to be able to gain some more lean mass. But with this, man, it's it's wide open because nobody can test them. Legally, nobody can test them. One thing that's good about this, too, is um, if, you, if you're being tested, a lot of people, um, they'll take steroids that are out their system before they take the test. So there's ways they can get around mm -hmm. it. You know, if they take something that life's on only two, three days, mm -hmm. they'll stop a week before to make sure this and that. But when you stop cold turkey like that, your blood level it, it, oh, yeah. it throws you all out of whack. For your sure. Hormones are all out of whack. For sure. So now the people are going to be able to, just like what I said, they're going to be able to be healthy about it because they're going to be able to be regulated all the time. Yep. Not just take a whole bunch of stuff and be like, oh, I got a drug test in two weeks and stop cold turkey and their yep. hormones are all out of whack yep. just to complete the drug test and then now I have to catch up. So now you can just be stable and regulated the whole time. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens because, like I said, they're renegotiating these contracts. And from the looks of it, they have not, the negotiations have not been going smoothly or have not been going consistently. 
because usually these guys would already start reporting to spring training and all that very shortly here. And it, uh, we'll see if the season even starts on time because they haven't made a deal yet. Yeah. So they got to make this deal between the players um, and, and for the MLB. So at that point, they can come back. And we'll see what they do put in place for some sort of steroid testing. Mm. But for right now, it's off the table. So I, I guarantee a lot of those players are out there looking to get those you know, those gains as quick as possible or see where they can push it. Especially, too, with the, you know, growth hormone and insulin, those are considered anabolic steroids. So now they can take growth hormone with a doctor prescription and be taking yeah. steroids, which is, you know, HRT yeah. Yeah. with a doctor prescription. Yeah. So it's just a lot safer way to do it. Yeah. I mean, guys are going to do it regardless. Yeah. They're going to find ways to cheat the system, whether you play golf or play football. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's true. It's but definitely now true. You, now you can be healthy about it. You know, actually, <laughs> I, I can't wait. I want to see monsters. I want to see home runs. I, dude, I home that. runs make people cheer, man. People want to see home McGuire runs, and, dude. And Barry Bonds were hitting all those home runs. That was like the most exciting time for baseball it that was. I can remember. It was. Not unless it's your team in the World Series. That's right, different. Right, But as a whole, just the way it was like. Yep. They were just going back and forth. cover of magazine with that big monster forearm <laughs> holding the bat. It was like, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true, man. Uh, all right, so Hawk Squad said, by the way, I've been taking MK677 and my arms are creeping up on the 20s. Almost got dubs. You're rolling oh, on Yeah, dubs. that's Pretty awesome, soon. dude. Yeah, so MK definitely works, man. If you guys are wanting to put on lean muscle mass, dude, MK is definitely it. Raise IGF-1 levels, healing, recovery, too, as well. That's definitely a good peptide therapy that we offer. I've had a lot of women ask about MK677. So it just depends what what you're trying to do as a woman, right? A lot of women I know, or a lot of women that I come in contact with, they're like real skinny. They want more shape. Oh. They want more size. They could eat yes. McDonald's and pizza every yes. day and not get any weight. Yes. So they're asking, they're inquiring about MK677. Right. So it's going to make them eat more. They and, could already eat whatever they want. They don't yeah. get fat anyway. So yep. now they can eat more, yep. eat clean, yep. put on some size. They're not really worried about water retention. They just want to yep. get, you know, quote unquote, thicker or bigger. Yep. yep. Give, a, give your body an all-around wider or more diameter. More you know? glutes. Yeah, yeah, more glutes. Whatever you want. Yeah. That, so. Dude, so for that situation, and we get a lot of girls like that. Like, yeah. you know, like I'm so skinny. Like, I don't want to look like a twig. And like, I want to put on more weight. What can I do? Yeah. This is definitely a good one for them, for sure. I actually spoke to a girl at the gym the other day. And she was, you know, like she was fairly tall and like 90-something pounds. And mm -hmm. she's like, you know, I want to put on weight, this and that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, MK so might be where it? to go. You're going to be eating like crazy and you're going to be... You know, for someone who like like that, she's like, I tried ice cream every night. I tried this, I tried everything. You know? Really? Yeah. She's like, I tried eating because you know, you know carbs. Yeah, yeah. She's always like, people try to stay away from carbs, so she's like carb crazy. Well, yeah. she'll eat carbs. Oh wow. So before she goes to bed, she'll have like a bowl of rice with honey on top of it and like <laughs> two pieces of toast, just straight carbs. Like wow. she's doing whatever she could do to gain the weight. So I'm like, look. Eat regular food. Yes. You know, your protein too, not just carbs. Yeah. Throw in some NK and a gallon of water a day and you'll yeah, get you're away. Gonna, you're going to need that protein for that muscle for yeah. sure, 100%. Dude. MK is good. 100%. What's going on? Call me pink. How you doing? Slim Ben, what's going on? Your fan? Spooky? Fit with Franco? What's going on, guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. Me and Drew are definitely having an awesome Friday with Titan Lifestyle, Big Drew. Shout out to Jerry. I haven't seen Jerry in a while. Good to see you back healthy, Jerry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Um, so, listen, the 60-Day Titan Transformation Challenge is still going on. So, when you guys see these pictures of these people and they're putting them up, root for them. Get behind them. Motivate them even more to try to be better for themselves, right? And hopefully that will motivate you guys to be better for yourself, too, as well. So, uh, yeah, man. I mean, I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it for our show today. Yeah, that's pretty much it. We don't have any events this week. Uh no, we're off this no week. No events this week. Don't uh, worry. We got some we got, we got some ones in the plans for sure. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff coming up, guys. And again, you know, the the bodybuilding shows are gonna start rolling around too. Yeah. It's gonna All be right. a great, great year. So hold not law asked I got two more questions. I have heard that TRT companies are able to legally prescribe Anavar. Hope my question is on a line. Definitely not on a line. Now listen, Anavar, which is Oxandrolone, right, is a medically prescribed drug. Okay? And all medically prescribed drugs can be prescribed to patients. It's what are they getting prescribed for? So with this, with Oxandrolone, we're talking about like a DHT derivative. Now this is FDA approved and supposed to be used for burn victims or people that are in beds because they don't want them to go through atrophy. Oh, like AIDS patients? A wasting, 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 muscle wasting. wasting. So if, if you have something like that, a condition like that, that's also right on. Now some things can be prescribed for off-label use too as well. 
Now, for Oxandrolone, listen, like com TRT companies are out there and they're trying to pitch it as like a weight loss medication, right? This is going to lose weight and cut up on this thing and the whole nine. Well, they might cut up and might get a little bit harder, but it's not going to be good for them in the long run because they can only stand up for so long. We don't prescribe it for anybody that doesn't have supporting documentation. We also do Nandrolone, right? So Decanandrolone, we do do, but it has to have the backup documentation to support what the medical provider is prescribing you for. Because, listen, we're not a steroid clinic like that. There's places out there you could probably go and tell them exactly what you want. They're going to write everything you want. But at that point, when they're getting looked at by all these big brother agencies with three letters in them, I'm not trying to be in that group, and I want to set myself apart. And if people are just looking for that, then we're not the place for them. And I tell them, hey, listen, there's places down the street you can go, and you can probably get all that and more. So, yeah. you know, it really is what, what you're doing. And for us, health is number one priority. We want to get, get you as healthy as possible. With Oxandrola, man, you're talking about liver toxicity possibly if you take it too long, crystallizing the kidney. You know, there's a lot of issues you can have with it. But it could be a great drug too if there is the right purpose for it. Yeah. That's it though, man. I think uh, we're good. I, man, everybody's joining in. I appreciate all you guys joining in for us every Friday. Tight lifestyle, Big Drew. Probably said, that's crazy. I can eat two almonds and lick an apple yeah, and get 20 that. pounds. I was trying not to laugh when I looked up in the morning. So. <laughs> Some people can, man. Two Just eat almonds fins, right? and lick an apple. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, hopefully you get over that and boost the metabolism. Metabolism can start running a lot better, man. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, big shout out to all you guys. We appreciate you guys. Get ready for Valentine's Day. 25% off all libido or bedroom enhancing therapies for males and females out there. Now, with that $25, does that mean... 25%. 25%. Yeah, 25%. So that means you guys are going to save $25 every 100 you spend. That's correct. If you if someone places three orders, are they going to get 25% off of each order? Yeah. So, of, because of, what of, happen, of, of what, libido what, enhancers or right. bedroom enhancers. Because yeah. I can see what someone does is they order one bottle, and then they order another bottle. So each time they get the 25 yeah, so like they, it, it's only going on this week, so you have to call today, right? But right. if you call today and you're like, listen, I want to get 30 cubits candy. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, awesome. Give you 25% off that. And then you're like thinking like an hour or two later, man, I better stock up on like Tadalafil or something else. Call us back. You'll get 25% off so that. You, yeah, so 25% on each. It's not just a one-time thing. No. Each time that, okay, good. Just till, till today. So if you yeah. call three times today and you order three different times the libido enhancers. It's 25 on each 25% on each, 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 yeah. each one. Take advantage of that. Each one. So you guys should really, you know, you guys should get a lot out of this too as well. So, you know, get it, do it, have a great Valentine's Day. Get ready for Valentine's Day if you haven't. Guys out there, yeah. you don't have to have a lot of money to do it. Just think and be creative. Yeah, you got you know? Super Bowl Sunday and Valentine's Monday. So, Oh, wow. Yeah, Super Bowl is this Sunday. It is Super Bowl Sunday, isn't Two it? days. I, this is the most... Man, we should have talked about Super Bowl we today. We didn't even talk about Super Bowl. You know why? Damn. It's like the most boring year for Super Bowl. It is. As soon as the Bucks, It you know, is. We're, from, we're in town. Yeah. As soon as the Bucks didn't make it, it's like, what now? Like, yeah. I don't even know who's like... L.A. and Cleveland's like... It, and Super Bowl is Sunday. And, and, and uh, I mean, I don't even know where people are watching the game. I haven't heard anybody talk about this it. This is true. I haven't seen true. any, like, Instagram memes about it. It's <sighs> weird. Like, usually yeah. you see, like... Something where you're scrolling on Facebook or Instagram. I haven't seen anything about the Super Bowl. That's crazy, man. That's yeah, crazy. It's, it's so, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, listen, if I had to pick a team, I guess maybe L.A. is going to win the Rams. I mean, they got a hell of a defense and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's not going to be a very popular one. I don't even know if I'm going to watch it. We'll see. But, yeah, this is crazy, too. The Washington Commanders will be Washington's team, right? Yeah, the Commanders. I like that. The Commanders. That's a good name. I like that. But now, listen, guys, this is starting a big change of events here, which I really don't like the way it's going. First, it was Washington. Okay. What's the Redskins? I totally or understand. Chicago. Huh? What? The Blackhawks. The bl hopefully That's probably going to be the next one. Well, I'll tell you which the next one is right now. <laughs> so, they did it with Washington. Kind of, Redskins, fine. All right, but that's, Blackhawks is a Native American kind of thing, too. So, right. that's like, I mean, I'd, that could be offended if I was Native American. Cleveland Indians? Yeah. Why is that Chiefs, offensive? Kansas City Chiefs. So, now, now the Cleveland Indians are the Guardians. They're the Cleveland Guardians. That's, that's not a good name. That's for official, sport, right? Guardian. They're the Guardians. They played as the Guardians last year, um, and then now we're starting to see a chain effect with Kansas City. Now they've had big protests of the Kansas City Chiefs. Now they want to change that name. So you know, I don't see where the Chiefs is a bad thing. It's like Chief. That's like the ultimate thing. Yeah, like, it's kind of like name the team the Admirals or something like that. You it's know? not really. I mean, that's like a leader. It's not yeah. like saying like someone's like your Redskin. Like, yeah, I see Redskin, that, Blackhawk, yeah, or something like you know, that. You know, there's a Blackhawk tribe though. That's where they got that name. Yeah, yeah. you know. So I mean, 
At that point, you know, if it's... If yeah, it's, Redskins, that's, they need to get rid of that. Yeah, so Redskins that is a bad one. That, that's the racist name for sure. Yeah. I, I, I can agree with that. Well, I don't think Indians, Cleveland Indians, that wouldn't have existed. Cleveland, Cleveland Indians, Indians like I said, some of these other So I don't like how, you know, people are just going to bend and break over something that's been a team name for decades, right? Yeah. And, and at that point, you know, if it's if it's a racist thing or something like that, and it was old school, change it. But if not, we need to we need to keep it what we're doing. See, I see it trickling down to high schools too. If you think I mean, it's sport, already starting. Sports team, there's only like you know thirty or four whatever sports teams. Yeah, there's thousands of high schools. So this, I bet you there's hundreds of high schools that have the Chiefs or the yeah. Indians or the whatever, yeah. or even the Redskins. Like a lot of high schools or middle schools will have the same logos and the same uniforms as these NFL teams. It's true. Like here and here in Tampa, uh, Freedom High School, they're the Patriots. They have the same colors as the Patriot, the Patriot logo. So all those people are going to like, I don't know, it's just <laughs> way too much. Everybody's so sensitive. It and so, is. It's like it everything is. has to change now. I might as well just call it football team A, football yeah. team B. Like, might as well just erase everything. Yeah. Just erase everything. <laughs> Let's just start fresh, right? Yeah. Come on, guys. Anyway, so listen, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy Super Bowl. Get ready for Valentine's Day if you haven't done that. And yeah. Do your thing. And uh, we're going to enjoy the rest of our Friday and our weekend, too, as well. Yeah, and we'll be right back here next week, guys. Make sure you tune in every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, yeah. Titan Lifestyle. You can check us out on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also hit the bell on YouTube so you're notified That's of right. videos just like this. We've done over 130, 140 shows. You can wow. listen to all of them on our podcast wow. as well. So just go to the podcast logo, type in Titan Lifestyle. You can listen to all of that as well. That's right, guys. So we'll see you guys next Friday for Titan Lifestyle with me and Big Drew, all right. 2 p.m. Have a great week. Be safe, guys. Later, guys.